ever since um, I was a little kid, I, I've suffered depression, anxiety. Um, I've been hospitalised and medicated. As a kid growing up, I guess I was I was quite alone in the fact that I was an only child and I, I didn't know who really to talk to about this. The awareness of depression and anxiety needs to be spread. Aiden Nicodemo from Home and Away, and I want everyone out there who suffers from anxiety and depression to know that you're not alone. Life's hard sometimes. There are 101 reasons for depression and anxiety. I'm Andrew Lofthouse, and I believe in you. I just obsessed at the idea of everyone staring at me and everyone judging me for how I looked. My parents admitted me to hospital. My father committed suicide. I wanted to give up. Unfortunately, we don't all, all have people there for us and that can lead to depression at times. You know, that feeling that they have, that feeling of hopelessness, that feeling of darkness, of blackness. It's a very serious issue and it can, it can actually deter you from what you really want to do. The biggest thing for me with depression is actually knowing that you're in that state. It's just something that some of us really can't escape. For me, one of the most important features is learning how to deal with depression. I knew the stress that some people do go through. Nearly everyone has felt the effects of depression and anxiety, either personally or through friends or a loved one. And everybody that has it knows exactly the different sorts of things that it puts you through. I guess I feel helpless in talking about the subject, you know, and if I feel helpless in talking about the subject, then something has to be done. Talking on the radio to a large audience takes a lot of confidence, and that's something I didn't always have. Every morning we do a breakfast radio show and I'm in a room with two other people. Talking to thousands of people, I can do that comfortably, but still even now, walking into like an auditorium with 100 people, I absolutely freak out. A lot of guys, being a guy, you don't really want to you know, voice and, and put it out there. You know, if you don't get it out, then it's, uh, it's just going to eat at you and, and um, you know, downward spiral. When I was 12, I was sexually abused. He was about 23 when I was 12. My parents admitted me to hospital. It was definitely something that I was scared of. I just remember laying in my room thinking that nobody cared and it was just the time that I wanted to die. I myself have suffered from depression in 2006, my father committed suicide and it took me a very long time to be able to overcome that um, painful part of my life. It's like it was just there, just looking at me. Constantly hospitalised, sick mentally and physically. An overwhelming feeling of nothingness. I just had this black cloud hanging over my head and I felt like I was, I was in the room with them but I was also separate. To me, every time I went somewhere, I was the sole focus but not in a good way, not in an attention seeking way. Attention at that point was the last thing I wanted. Things start to fall down around you and the clouds start to build. Thoughts of just leaving it all behind. Some of my worst times were self-harm. And it's, it's a really crazy thing and it's a really destructive mindset to get into and once you're in it, it's incredibly hard to get out of. Uh, depression is, is particularly hard and that is because you don't really know that you've got depression until it's well and truly upon you. Fighting it is the hardest part. Don't let me too close, darling, please. It definitely still hurts because you still think you know, why did it happen to me? It could have been so many other people. You don't know if this will ever go away. It feels like it's come into your life and it's, it's so crippling and it'll always be there. It got to the point where I couldn't walk into a room without feeling ashamed of myself. And I couldn't walk into a room without worrying instantly about how everyone saw me.
too big or too strong to be able to talk to someone about, uh, about any issue and you'd be surprised uh, the feeling you get once you do do that. The most important feature of all was learning how to deal with it and receiving the correct advice and thankfully when I did that I found it uh, quite a comfortable period that followed. It's something that's so easy to hide and we can't have people hiding. If people really feel sad or are feeling the symptoms of depression they need to talk up about it. They need to tell their friends, they need to tell their family because they're all here to help you. Overall I just tried to work on myself so that I could get get out of this situation. Just over a year ago I've had a little puppy and she's like my best friend and she's the reason I get through it. I love her. So what I eventually did was I got help. Calling Beyond Blue is the best thing that I could have ever done because if it wasn't for them, I'd still be left in the dark. And it wasn't until I started writing songs and penning down my thoughts and expressing myself through that musical outlet, I was able to rebuild. I'm not the best person, um, I don't think anyone really is, to be able to give all the right advice. But what I, what I would like to say is that it can come into your life at any time and it's important to acknowledge that and to move on. Use your family as your wall to stand on because they're the people that's going to support you through everything. You'll never know just how easy it is until you go and tell your loved ones, go and tell your friends and you'll be surprised just how much they will support you through this. As soon as you do that, you'll realise you're not alone. You're never as alone as you think. And that's the one thing I'd stress more than anything. Hold your breath, we'll be just fine. Even if there is a support network around you, you might not even be able to see it. I think that's something that people need to be able to see in themselves, the others that are around them. You can always relate to someone and there's always someone to talk to, basically. It definitely helps with the feelings and it can help you push past that uh, momentary feeling of depression or anxiety. Friends and family are the most important people to turn to. They're always going to be there for support. One of the most important uh, pieces of advice to give to anybody that's dealing with depression is not to feel embarrassed about uh, seeking some assistance. The tide is turning. You're not alone. Help is available. And I just don't want anyone ever to be afraid for asking for help. So don't worry. Be happy. Be happy. Talk to someone. They'll help you through these tough times. You can get through it. I've seen people get through it before and I know you can. Help your family. Help your friends. They need your support. There is always hope. Uh, that there's always um, light at the end of the tunnel. Make sure you live your life like you want to live it and don't ever settle for anything less. Do what you want to do and work really hard. I am not what I have done, I am what I have overcome. Like just don't give up. Keep striving for what you want, find what you want and uh, don't let it go. Remember that depression isn't a sign of weakness. It's not something we can control. We can all play a part in this battle by reaching out to a loved one, a friend, a colleague or a neighbour and asking them if they're okay. If I can do it, I know that everybody else can as well. One line that I always remember, it's from Nemo but it's helped me through, is just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Your heart.